What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel here and today I'm going to show you how I do my dip nails at home. So I use this kit called Pro Dip and I got it from Sally's. I'll link it down below if they still sell it. Um, I got it probably about uh, two years ago maybe, maybe a year and a half. Um, but it's super easy, super simple. Um, and I'm just going to pull out here everything that I'm going to use. So I have two different nail files. Um, also have like a brush. This is legit like a e.l.f. makeup brush that I use to like get the powder off. I have the bonder, activator, and top and base coat, as well as my powder and whatever that little tool is to clean my nails. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to start with. Uh, I just start by just cleaning underneath my nails, really just getting the dirt off of them and um, I don't really do like a full manicure like soaking my nails and pushing back my cuticle. Um, I don't do that every time just because sometimes I just feel like it's not necessary but uh, I definitely you know clean under my nails and uh, just make sure they're looking as clean and sharp as possible. And then I'm gonna go in with this nail file. So this is actually the file that came with the kit and it has two sides it has like a really coarse side and then it has like a smoother or uh, less coarse side basically i'm going to use the really coarse side to basically just rough up my nails so to speak so when i first started doing this i would always like buff my nail like really smooth and then after I did the dip, my dip would only stay a couple of days. So after doing more research, I found out that like the nail should be kind of coarse and kind of um, have some texture to it. So the dip um, and the bonder like has something to grip onto. So um, I just do that and I just, like I said, like really just file my nail so it is kind of coarse, like not, not excessive at all, but just to give it some texture. And then of course I just clean off my nails. So next I'm going with a bonder. This is from a totally different kit. <laughs> it's actually from like a gel nail kit that I had. Um, but I found that using the bonder just helps my uh, dip nail, just it just helps it stay longer. So it can last a good week and a half to two weeks. Um, so it's not a necessary step, but um, and like I said, it didn't come with the kit, but I think it's a really nice step to help your nail stay longer. The color I'm using is, uh, it's like a pinkish color. It's really light pink. So like when I, when I put it on my nails, you can tell it's kind of pink, but not super pink. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go in with the base and top coat. So um, if you don't know anything about dip nails, um, you first you start with a base, a base coat, which is actually the same polish that you use for your top coat. And the best way I can describe it is it's kind of like a glue, but, um, it doesn't feel like a glue at the end, but in the beginning it like looks like glue, smells like glue, it's like straight up nail glue almost. <laughs> um, and then you just paint it on your nail and then you dip your nail in, bring your nail in at a 45 degree angle, letting it sit for like three seconds and then you tap off the excess. Uh, so here I'm just showing you the difference between my nails. So I did one coat and then I go back and do a second coat um, of the dip. You know, I kind of just take my time and go through uh, each each process. That's the thing with painting your own nails. You really have to take your time. Um, you really have to take the extra care to like get all the crevices because once again, you're doing it yourself. You're not a professional. And it's a little harder, you know, to like paint your left hand, especially if you're right-handed or the reverse. <laughs> so next I'm going in with this applicator. So the applicator, I don't know what it is, but it's a chemical that once you put it on top of your dip nails, it hardens them like immediately. And so this, basically you, you don't want to go over your nail multiple times. You kind of want to just go over it three swipes, and then that's it and then you just let it dry this dries super fast um, you only have to go over it once let it dry and then you can actually go in and start shaping your nail so it's kind of like the acrylic portion of getting your nails done but it already comes with the color uh, your nail is already set you don't have to go through all that waiting period but here you're just gonna file your nail uh, to be as smooth as you want it to be, whatever shape you want it to be. Kind of want to get in there and like just really inspect your nails, see how they're looking after the uh, the first applicator because this is pretty much how they're going to look. And that's, that's why this filing step is super important. You don't want to skip it uh, because this is also where you get like any lumps or bumps out of your nail uh, if you maybe got 
too much glue or too much of the base coat on and you have too much dip in one area, the, at this point, you can kind of file it down. Once again, you're gonna go through and you're just gonna clean off your fingers uh, with the brush. I find that this brush is like super helpful just to get all the excess dust and everything out of the way. And then you're actually gonna go back in with the applicator again. So the only difference between this applicator step is you're not gonna file again after. This is just kind of like, just once again, setting your dip or setting your powder onto your nails. And it still dries super fast. Uh, it hardens very quickly, for like maybe three minutes, like not, not long at all, but you're just gonna go in with a second coat. So after this step, then you're gonna go back to your big slash top coat and you're gonna apply that to your nails as well. Um, once again, you don't wanna go over your nails too many times, especially on this step, um, because you're, you're adding another layer of thickness to your nails as well and you don't want them to be too stick, you don't want them to be sticky, um, have a hard time drying, uh, just because this is the last step and this is what gives your nails gives your nails the glossiness as well. So this is like final top coat, you are finished with your nails. Doing dip nails are is really simple. Like if you can paint your nails, you can do dip nails. It's, it's super easy. Um, there's lots of kits out there. I definitely recommend this one. It's, it's so easy, so simple. Like when I do this process, it only takes me maybe about 30 to 45 minutes to do my nails. That's it. Those are my nails. I love doing my nails like this, like I said. And it also allows my nails to grow out. Um, it does not damage my nails like acrylic does. Um, it's a really good system, a really good way to just have something cute on your nails. Um, but also you don't have to pay the cost. You just buy the kit and you go with that. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching how I do my dip nails, and I hope it inspires you to go out and get a kit and just do your nails yourself. You'll save so much money, especially if you like that polished nail look, uh, but you don't want to spend the money to get your nails done every two weeks. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you check out my previous videos, and also subscribe to my channel, girl. What are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.